This week on Best Of, we are doing what? Charcuterie boards. Yeah. guests with us for this part of the episode. We have Andy. And Irene. We're uh, enjoying the, what Andy says, the mold spores from the cheese. <laughs> Flavor spores. Flavor spores. eating butter or cheese. What is in this butter? It's so good. There's like chestnuts in it. Bad Dog Bread is from North Bend. If you show up after 1 p.m., you likely won't get a loaf of bread as they sell out. If you uh, you know drove by here, I definitely think that with all the breweries nearby here, that it's gonna pick up steam. We're really here to try their charcuterie board and, and see what's up because I've seen some photos on Instagram and they are big. Um, all the meats are made in house. It's not some type of you know processed meat that you buy at the deli. Like the owner said when we walked in, uh, a lot of charcuterie boards you can get in Vancouver is just like lunch meat on a on a tray. So I'm um, looking forward to trying one that's more fresh and more unique. Belly, lamb, pork belly, these are pickle veg, this is chicken, duck, pork loin, smoked olives, mustard, and homemade blueberry compo. That's a blueberry compo. It's really good, not too sweet. That's good. This is lamb. kind of smoke meat, I can't go wrong. That's very good. I'm really excited about the duck. I've been craving duck recently, so. It has this like campfire taste to it, mm -hmm. which is great. That was a good flatbread. <laughs> Pork belly. That's really good. It's almost like cured pork belly. So the texture is very cured, but overall the taste is great. We 
Yeah, what do you think overall so far? It's really impressive. I feel like it's almost like a choose your own adventure. Like, you can get sweet and salty in almost every bite, or you can just do salty. Um, the Funyuns are like a great touch. <laughs> I feel like sweet and salty is like <clears throat> something that I always search out. And this board is the definition of that. One thing they don't, they don't have though, have you noticed? This is cheese. Yeah, there's no cheese. There you know is, what? There is no you know cheese. what the biggest compliment of this board is? Mm. I didn't notice there wasn't any cheese. <laughs> and I will die for cheese. <laughs> All right, so we are in our last spot. We've been waiting for this place. Just from their Instagram photos, the Brussels sprouts smells great. So um, I can't smell anything, but the board is very pretty. Um, <laughs> looks impressive, and it's stocked and supply at the Delta Hotel. So we ordered drinks first. I got the local legend, uh, which is the... like a five mixed gin cocktail. I got the pep talk. Awesome, and I thoroughly enjoyed my cocktail. How about yours? Good. For our board, we ordered uh, the goat cheese, and it comes with sourdough. Um, we also ordered uh, the bone marrow with the Brussels sprouts, and also the smoked duck, and it comes with a cranberry jelly, um, and it's finished off with um, their basics. There's hummus, uh, olives, pickles, have you had bone marrow before? No. I don't think I have either. I'm pretty sure that's not how we eat it. It's very salty. Salty? Yeah. Interesting. There's little, like, fat or something. The bone marrow is different. I'm a little unsure. Duck two boards in a row, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. And this one is a smoked duck. Like thin poached was. Yeah, this, it's, it's it's much more thinly sliced though. Well, yeah, the thin poached duck was like cute. This one's very thin. That's good hummus. Yes, it's very impressive hummus. Mm. And then what is that? A garlic cube? That's pickled garlic. I forgot to mention we got the pork belly too. It comes with um, the, Brussels the Brussels sprouts. sprouts yeah. So they're like. They're cute. Just ate an entire pickle in one bite. Yeah, that's a good pickle. Mm. The pork belly is very good. Super salty, obviously, but... Out of everything you've tasted so far, what's your favorite on the score? Um, I'm impressed by the hummus, because hummus is like usually such a plain spread, unless you get it on commercial. Mm -hmm. The bone marrow is new, it's interesting. I mean, you can't go wrong with grilled goat cheese and strawberry jam. I think I like the Brussels sprouts the most. It's different, you don't usually get Brussels sprouts on a charcuterie board. If you don't like, you know, pick your own, you can come for brunch. They have curated brunch boards, which look amazing if you check out their Instagram and I'll yeah. post it here. Yeah, um, but this one in particular, we chose th uh, four options. Three are included and then each option after the three included is $8. Um, so we chose this board. So it can be different every time. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so who's your winner for best charcuterie? So my winner is Bartholomew Bar in Yaletown. I really liked the whole atmosphere and the board itself for me had the most um, decadent options. Mm, definitely, like the cheeses are great there. Mm -hmm. uh, and the whole, you love the vibe there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, you should see their wine wall. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, my winner goes to Finfolk just cause it's the best option for people who are lactose intolerant. They smoke all the meats there. And I still think about their duck breasts a lot. And yeah, it's, just, it's a great spot. Yeah. Uh, tons of like indie beers from like, you know, backcountry and all the surrounding places around Finfolk. 
So yeah, the vibe was really cool at Finfolk too. Yeah, yeah. Great places to check out if you like your security boards and like the video if you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.